What's happening guys? Today we are in Tamarindo. I am absolutely loving this city. Are you looking to escape the cooped up existence of quarantines and lockdowns in 2021? Maybe you're in a low risk category. Maybe you've already had the virus. Whatever the reason, I'm here to tell you that traveling Tamarindo, Costa Rica feels to me like opening up a time capsule to what travel was like before this pandemic swept the globe and forced many of us to put our lives and travel plans on hold. Tamarindo, Costa Rica is no longer the quiet fishing village it was in the early 80s. It's now the largest developed beach town in the Guanacaste province of Costa Rica. And even now, in 2021 with the global pandemic, it's still thriving with tourists and beachgoers looking to have a good time. Its beautiful beaches make it a common tourist destination and easy to get to, being just an hour away from the international airport in Liberia, Costa Rica. Tamarindo is also world-renowned for its surfing. Want to find the best waves? Fortunately, you don't have to go far. Walk just one minute from the city center and you're at the best break. You'll see the surfers in the water. There's tons of them. Swimmers and less experienced surfers should head further south down the beach for calmer waters. And everyone should be prepared to just pony up and pay the ferry operators if you want to get across the river to Playa Grande. It's dangerous. Crocs live in there and they'll get you. Tamarindo has a huge assortment of restaurants, accommodation, and shopping options for all types of travelers. From budget hostels to bougie hotels and Airbnbs, Tamarindo has it all. At the time of making this video, travelers in Costa Rica do not need to get a COVID test before coming here. COVID health insurance is required, but it's fairly cheap. It'll cost you probably between $3 and $10 a day, depending on your age and the duration of your stay. I'll put a link below this video to a great resource where you can find out more information on visas and health insurance. And while you're at it, if you like Costa Rica or you would like to travel here, give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel because I have a ton more videos coming out on Costa Rica. And a simple thumbs up helps the channel out a lot. Also, I should note that at the time of making this video, Americans do now need a negative COVID test result in Costa Rica one to three days before flying back to the US. The Costa Rican government is, however, making it very easy to, to have that test taken. Do you plan on coming to Costa Rica in 2021? If you do, let me know in the comments down below. And if you're from Costa Rica or you're currently living here, leave a comment down below where you think I should go next after Tamarindo. I would love to get your guys' feedback as to some of the other best destinations in Costa Rica. All right, that's it for this one. I will see you guys next Sunday at 5 p.m., Costa Rican time, and that is also central time if you are in the U.S. Adios, travelers. Pura Vida.